Hey there, how you doing today? It is Renetra Thomas, better known as Tweet, your favorite, well, your new favorite entrepreneur, kingdom business builder, mother four. Hey y'all, how you doing today? So I wanted to come on real quick and share with you eight tips, okay, to help your business go to the next level, okay? These are eight tips that have been tried and proven, okay, and they just work. So the inspiration behind this video actually came from a teleconference call I was on early this morning, right? And in the teleconference call, the speaker happened to be a woman like me, someone in the same business industry like me, entrepreneurship, right? And she shared eight tips that has helped her to become a multimillionaire, okay, in her space. So I'm also in the same space the entrepreneurial space. And so I'm walking it out, my levels of success. I took some great notes. And so I want to share them with you today. So go ahead and get out a pen and paper and let's get started. Again, if you have not already liked this video, will you? If you have been getting some value out of my videos, like this video, it encourages me to keep making them. Also, if you love this channel, like I love this channel, make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed already and hit that bell icon so you can be notified each time I upload a new video because we're all growing, right? In success. All right, so here are the eight tips that I took away at the beginning of the week. And I'm gonna actually be able to go back 90 days from today. What is today's date? Okay. Well, for you, everyone will be different, but write down what today's date is and 90 days from today, come back and look at your results, measure your results, okay? Just take these eight tips and put them into practice like I am, all right? I'll also make a follow-up video in the next 90 days. Let's get started. So the first thing is, right, in this entrepreneurial space and our success and us writing writing goals down and having the vision, the faith to actually achieve them. The first thing that she said was have a clear vision. Have a clear vision. Basically know what you want. So write that down as number one, eight tips on success today from another entrepreneur, right? Because when you receive information, it's yours, you apply it and you share with someone else and it's, it's theirs, right? It's all common knowledge. So number one is have a clear vision. What do you want and why do you want it? Have a clear vision on where you want to be, okay? Whatever your goal is, like for mine, I have a goal of, of having 10 people on my business team. So I have to be clear in my vision, see these 10 people, right? Know where I want to be with these 10 people and know what I'm going to be doing with these 10 people. So for you, have a clear vision in what your goal is, right? And then move in the direction of your clear vision. Um, she said something about mad, make a MAD, which is not really get mad, but make a decision. That's what happens when you get clarity in your vision. You make a decision, right, to achieve your goals no matter what. Because when you are clearing your vision, you're not doing this and that, and you're not being pulled by every new opportunity, or, or, or you're not being pulled by you know things that take you off of your course of your vision because you're clear. So number one is get clear in your vision and um, make a decision. Let your goals, let your dreams be bigger than you, okay? Once you start to have clarity in your vision, you begin to live in that vision, right? And your vision should always be expanding, always be growing, right? Yeah, have clarity in your vision, number one. All right, the second thing is in your keys to success, go into the next level. After you have your clarity in your vision, you know where you're going, right? You're on that path, you're on that target. The second thing is have good character. Have good character. Like be working on yourself, to be developing yourself every single day. Like have a, a rich mentality. And she said rich means have a respectable and integral and um, character and, and then have humility, have a rich, have a rich character and develop good self-character every single day in your business, every single day as you're clearing your vision, you should be getting better, reading personal development books, 
getting around uh, people who are successful and have these success traits that you want, like develop a good character. And every day you should be working on yourself, personal development. So she also um, had an example. As you're being of good character, would you work for you with the character that you have right now, right? Um, if you were to take your efforts right now and multiply them by 100, right? What kind of characteristics will be coming out of you? It's a great question, huh? So number two is be of good character and always be developing your character. Always be getting better. Number three in the th eight tips of success for today is be consistent. Be consistent. Now you have your vision. Now you're developing your character. You're getting better at your, at your showing up on time. You're getting better with your accountability. You're getting better. Uh, now, number three, you're moving into consistent. Be consistent with it. And write your goals down. This is one thing that I wanted to say about writing things down. She, she talked about number three under the consistency part is as you're writing things down, like don't just write them down one time. Don't just write them down at the beginning of the year when you're trying to figure out what your sales goals are gonna be for the year. And don't just write it down at the end of the year, you know, when you're trying to project what your sales are gonna be for the upcoming year. You should be writing your goals down, not just in the mornings when you wake up, but also at night when you go to bed. So be consistent with writing your goals down. This one right here for me was a biggie, okay? So um, it's really helped me to open up uh, my avenues of consistency of writing my goals down in the morning and at night before I go to bed. So it's going to help me and it's going to help you too in our consistency of meeting our goals quicker, faster. All right. So number four in our eight tips of success for today, taking your business to the next level. And again, this is from a multi-million dollar earner in um, our industry. So number four is, um, Oh, one more thing before I go to number four. She said about consistency, because most people, they think their problem is consistency, that they just aren't um, doing something enough. But the problem is they're not committed. It's a commitment problem. So consistency really has to do with discipline. Good stuff, right? Discipline, right. So, um, I'm just reading my notes now. Consistently, consistency shows up and builds trust and confidence. Confidence is strong when you have consistency, okay? And um, you should be able to, she said this as, as one of her mantras. She said that my mind is my boss and my body is my worker. My mind is my boss. And my body is my worker, meaning her mind tells her body what to do instead of her body telling her mind what to do. So that's a great affirmation. Um, write that one down, okay, under consistency. Um, of being able to consistently do something great, okay? And that is write your goals down. Okay, in the mornings and then when you get up at, at, in the morning and then when you go to bed at night, be consistent. And then develop a affirmation that you consistently say to yourself. And hers was, my mind is my boss and my body is my worker. It's pretty good, huh? <laughs> I thought so, I wrote it down, see? Right here. Mind is my boss. Is my worker. <laughs> so this is good stuff. All right. So number four, we're wrapping it. We're halfway through. Y'all doing good. Is she said that you know part of success is having coaches and mentors. We all need coaches and mentors. We all do. What is a coach? What is a mentor? Someone who is helping us achieve our goals because they already know what to do in order to help us to meet those goals because they've already met them themselves. So get you a coach and get you a mentor, someone who has done what you want to do, okay? And someone who has also been where you are so you can follow them. 
right? And you can follow the leader. Number five is decide to be that leader, right? Come out of the follower's role and rise up and decide to be a leader. I love this. Take charge. Yes. Talking about eight success principles today to take your business to the next level. Number five is decide to be that leader. Yes. And as you decide to be that leader, it shows up in your showmanship, in your worksmanship. It shows up in your results. Decide to be that leader, okay? And the evidence will follow. Number six is demand and command yourself forward. Yes. Know what you're going to be doing every single day and do it. Demand and command yourself forward. Take massive action. I love that. Yes, that's number six. Number seven, and we're wrapping up, is to edify your leaders. Edify your leaders. Edify the people around you. Recognize someone for doing a good job, okay? Edify people around you. Appreciate people around you. That's basically what it means. If someone is doing something really well for you, they should know about it and others should know about it too. It's called edification. There's a transference of energy when you begin to edify the people around you and those people begin to edify you. You know how it feels when somebody pour into you then you pour into somebody else. I mean, it, it, it is an amazing um, fellowship, okay, to edify those around you. And the eighth step, and we're wrapping up, is to embrace the moment. Embrace the ups and downs, not just the ups, but she said embrace the downs too, because it is in the down times when you become the greatest, when you rise up out of the ashes and, and you're inspired, when you're motivated. You know, when you're, when you're down, it's, it's when you have the opportunity to grow and to build. When you're successful, when you've met your goal, then you're not growing anymore. Oh, that was great. It's a great concept. So let me wrap it up again for those of you who are writing things down. The eight success tips today from, okay, her name is Miss Jessica Parker, okay? Look her up. Oh, she's all over social media. She's from, I think, New Jersey, New Jersey or Pennsylvania, but look up Miss Jessica Parker. Okay, these are her eight tips that she gave on the leadership call today. We all wrote it down and took notes. Oh, she did an amazing job, okay? And I want to share with you again. So the first thing is to have a clear vision, right? Know what it is you want to do. See yourself doing that. And um, make a decision that this is what you're going to do, no matter what, and stick with that decision, okay? Number two is be of good character. Who are you becoming as you are achieving your goal, okay? Are you becoming more humble? Are you becoming more respectful? Are you becoming more integral, right? Are you becoming more, um, are, are you just becoming a better person as you are developing, becoming a good character, reaching your goal? Number three is be consistent, right? Basically what that means is be committed. Write your goals down. In the morning when you get up and at night before you go to bed, and it should be your sales goal right? Your dollar amount, write it down. If it's a hundred dollars, write it down. My goal is a hundred dollars this morning. If it's a, you know, if it's a thousand dollars, my goal is a thousand dollars. If it's $50,000. Okay. Because you may be looking at your goal from a six month or even a year, um, a year goal, but it needs to be written down, write it down in the morning and at night. So number four is be, excuse me. Number three is be consistent. Number four is have a mentor or a coach. Get you a mentor, get you a coach. And you should speak with your mentor once a week, once a day. But you should speak with your mentor at least, at least once every other week, okay? At least twice a month. You should speak with your mentor and your coach, if not every day, okay? Number five is decide to be that leader. Stop waiting on somebody else to rise up and you rise up. You be that leader, number five. Number six, demand and command success from yourself forward. Yes. Remember her mantra? My mind is the boss and my body is the worker. Command and demand yourself forward. 
Tell yourself what to do. Speak positive words into your life forward. And number seven is to edify your leaders. Edify those around you. Edify those that you appreciate, but edify your people. Yes, it's a transference of energy. And number eight, as we wrap up, is to embrace the moment, okay? And at this moment right now, you may not have your goal. At this moment right now, all hell may have broken loose. At this moment right now, it just, nothing may be happening. But now's a good time for you to be growing. You should be growing. You should be mentally coming up with different strategies to receive because your vision is clear, okay? But you should be developing. You should be getting better. You should be strategizing. You should be coming into contact with greater people. Uh, you should be coming into the oneness of who you are as you are embracing this moment because you're growing and it's showing. You're getting better. All right. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that you got some value out of this video, this audio. As I took notes, eight things to make you more successful in your business today. Coming from a top leader, Miss Jessica Parker. I am Vernetra Thomas, better known as Tweet, your favorite, but your new favorite entrepreneur, kingdom business builder, mother four, helping you get to the next level of success. Make sure that you subscribe to this video and give me a thumbs up if you found some value. Thanks. And leave me a comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Thanks. And tell somebody about VernetraThomas.com. Thank you.